Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Silver Springs Boulevard or State Road 40 Maintenance Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Randy Turner, and I am a project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation, representing one of three adjacent projects along Silver Springs Boulevard. Ty Garner will be the project manager for the other projects. During this meeting, we will explain the projects to resurface Silver Springs Boulevard from South Pine Avenue to Northeast 64th Avenue. We want to hear from you and there are multiple ways you can provide feedback. The project teams will respond to questions in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team for the presentation. Should I do one more? No, that was good. That was good. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project web pages at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450952-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450951-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450952-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-951-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. The FDOT is designing three projects on Silver Springs Boulevard or State Road 40 that will be constructed together under one contract. The first project is from Pine Avenue or US 441 to Northeast 25th Avenue, which is project number 450952-1. The next corridor is from Northeast 25th Avenue to Northeast 64th Avenue, which is project number 450951-1. The final corridor runs from Northeast 64th Avenue to the Lake County line. That project number is 450948-1. This meeting will focus on the first two segments. 
The first project we are going to look at is the project 450952-1, which runs on Silver Springs Boulevard from Pine Avenue to Northeast 25th Avenue. Currently, from Pine Avenue to Osceola Avenue, there are four travel lanes, two 11-foot wide lanes in each direction with a 12 to 25-foot raised median in the middle. There are also five to six foot wide sidewalks on both sides of Silver Springs Boulevard. There are no changes to this area. Currently, from Osceola Avenue to Northeast 25th Avenue, there are four travel lanes, two 12 foot wide lanes in each direction. There is a two way left turn lane in the middle and five foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road. There are no changes on this corridor either. The entire corridor will be repaved and curb ramps will be upgraded to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA standards. Design is underway and is anticipated to be complete in late 2025 at an estimated cost of $1.1 million. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way. Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2026 at an estimated cost of $4.9 million. The next project runs on Silver Springs Boulevard from Northeast 25th Avenue to Northeast 64th Avenue. This is also a resurfacing project with updates to curb ramps to meet ADA standards. Currently, from Northeast 25th Avenue to Northeast 64th Avenue, there are four travel lanes, two 12-foot wide lanes in each direction, with a median of varying widths. There are five-foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. There are no changes on this corridor. However, the entire corridor will be repaved, sidewalk will be reconstructed to fill in small gaps on both the eastbound and westbound sides, and curb ramps will be upgraded to meet ADA standards. Design is underway and is anticipated to be complete in summer 2025 at an estimated cost of $2.05 million. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2026 at an estimated cost of $7.9 million. There is one final stretch currently in design. It runs on Silver Springs Boulevard from Northeast 64th Avenue to the Lake County Line. This is also a resurfacing project with no changes to the roadway. We encourage your input and feedback about these projects and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 24th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project websites at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450952-1 or www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450951-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager for Project 450952-1, Randy Turner, directly by email at randall.turner at dot.state.fl.us. That's R-A-N-D-A-L-L dot t u r n e r at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s or by u s mail at the florida department of transportation 719 south woodland boulevard mail station 542 deland florida 32720 you may also call mr turner at 386-943-5207 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager for projects 450951-1 and 450948-1 
Ty Garner directly by email at ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us. That's ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Garner at 386-943-5299 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. Mr. Garner's contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450952-1 or 450951-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 24, 2024. Have a good evening.